We are at the Harmony Arch. This is the Carpenter Street. This is an old town of uh, Kuching and there's a lot of hidden gems here. There's a lot of cafes and restaurants and hidden bars here. So we are gonna explore this place today. So let's go check it out. Organic honey, 100% pure honey. It's like royal jelly. Okay, so this is like your best seller? Uh, yes, actually they are. Actually, uh, for the Japanese tourists, it's quite popular. Because it's contain 100% a how to sell it uh, collagen. This, uh, mostly the product claim they have. This, called, this product contain royal jelly, right? Actually, there is 100% royal jelly. It's really there. Uh -huh. And it's effect to your voice. And they become more how to sell it. Yeah, shop it. Time for lunch now. So I made a reservation at a diet restaurant. It's kind of like a diet fusion restaurant. So it has really high rating on Google. So uh, it's my first time trying diet food. Yeah, let's go. cafe now so this is actually a diet restaurant so they serve like uh, diet and uh, some Sarawak local food as well it's actually my first time trying diet food so I'm very curious and at the same time very excited about uh, how it tastes like so I made a reservation a few days ago but it was full so finally I managed to uh, get a table reserved today for lunch this place is very unique uh, the wall is decorated with uh, colorful trays from the olden days they have an open kitchen concept so you can actually see them prepare their food so which is very interesting for me the menu seems very interesting to me so I'm gonna be adventurous today and order something that I've never tried before <laughs> So, I think I did the recommendation. Ayam pansa or ayam pansa? Yeah, ayam pansa. Okay. Ayam pansa? Yeah. And then, what else is good? Tempoya? Have you ever tried tempoya? Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll drop by her. Sorry? Yeah, by fried rice. Yeah, by, what is that by her? Um, the olive fried rice. Okay. It's a must order, it says. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I get the ayam pansu. Okay, ayam pansu, ayam pansu, ayam pansu. Without the rice. Okay, ayam pansu ala kak. Yeah. Okay. No chasu. Yeah, no chasu. Thank you. Okay. We just ordered. We just ordered uh dayo da daun and pasta. Uh, it's a uh, tapioca leaves and uh, ayam pansu. It's like chicken kopi bamboo. And uh, one more, what was that? Dabai fried rice. Dubai it's like fried. the olive oil fried rice.
This is a uh, down and pasta. It's a tapioca leaf, fried tapioca leaf. Uh, I've never tried it, but it looks interesting. And this is ayam panso. It's a uh, chicken cooked in bamboo. And this is a uh, dabai fried rice. It's kind of like a fried rice with fruits. So yeah, let's try it. Oh, yes, this is uh, one of the most famous drinks. Three layered tea infused with uh, butterfly bee flowers. Let's eat! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try the down and pasta, the tapioca leaf. Mm. It's very healthy. <laughs> After, after all the Chinese New Year food, I think this is quite yeah, healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Let's try the fried rice. Mmm. This is good, we have. Check it out. We've got lemon taste. I'm gonna try the dabai fruit. Very fragrant. So we ordered quite a lot. After all the Chinese New Year food, I feel so comfortable eating this. It's like comfort food. Yeah. Because it has a lot of leaves and fruits. very satisfying but we couldn't finish everything because the portion is quite big but it's really nice Daya food so you guys should go check it out it's at Kingai Cafe at the uh, Carpenter Street Shops around here. Oh, found a temple. Okay, this is an old temple at a uh, Carpenter Street.
Sarawak is really popular with uh, beads and rattan uh, products. So uh, the native use it to make uh, bags, accessories, finishes and decorative items. This shop looks pretty cute so let's go in and check it out. Souvenir for bringing me here <laughs> for his block drinking session. to this um, local. coffee specialty place where local. they sells like a uh, local pure Sarawak coffee bean. You can smell the coffee from here. Mm, even with my mask on. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's so strong the coffee smells. Yay! I'm here! But oh, for the Arabic wow. now, we have charged one bit the for the Shuan shop. Okay, so which one is recommended? Uh, the recommended will come from outside, right? No. From KL. Yeah, from KL. Yeah. So I recommend the Sarawak Arabic. Huh? This is our local bean, the Sarawak one. Okay, I'll get this. Is it like very strong? A little bit. Medium strong? A medium, medium strong. strong? Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, I'll get this. 
hi, I'm at uh, Black Bean Coffee now. This is a specialty coffee shop that sells uh, house roasted Sarawak and worldwide coffee beans. They are the pioneer of uh, Sarawak gourmet coffee since 2001. I can actually smell the coffee when I was walking towards here. The interior of this shop is very uh, simple and cozy, decorated with uh, shelves of coffee bean jars. It looks like a traditional uh, coffee shop with a long history of coffee. place for us to sit. There are a lot of people now so because the place only has like two tables anyway. So I asked them for a recommendation and uh, he actually recommended me a Sarawak coffee bean. So which is something that I've never tried before. So it's medium strong so let's try it. Oh, it's quite good. I like it that it's medium strong but it's very aromatic. So Perfect weather. We were here since uh, 9.30 and it's around 1 o'clock now. So let's go to the last stop. Mmm, it's like really good, no joke. Okay, so I'm gonna try the lemon lime. Mmm, this is good too. Refreshing, eh? Very refreshing. So this straw is actually a uh, rice made with straw. Uh, my cousin said that uh, we can actually eat it, but I don't know whether to trust him or not. And what the what? Oh yeah, it's eat it. It's edible. It's edible. Wow.
Court House of Kuching and a certain part of the building has transformed into a cafe restaurant and they have outdoor and indoor as well. The weather is pretty good today so I'm sitting outdoor enjoying the view of the courthouse. The interior of this place is very contemporary and is decorated with lots of plants and kids with painting on the wall. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It has been a very long day. I had a really fun day exploring the hidden gems of Kuching. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.